terrifying situation developed in Draper, Utah. That's just south of Salt Lake City. Homeowners were forced to evacuate brand new homes. Then they stood and watched as this happened. Take a look. That's basically the home being swallowed up by the ground. Draper officials say shifting ground caused the homes to slide away, but flooding's been an issue here, undermining the foundational structures. Earlier this month, rushing water eroded roads and created sinkholes in the town of Kaysville. That's on the north side of Salt Lake City. Warm up in the forecast here, we're expecting more flooding, maybe more problems. It is record snowpack that is gonna come rushing down the slopes. Let's talk to somebody who is dealing with this. Mayor Tammy Tran from Kaysville, Utah, joins us right now. Mayor, first, I spent a year at Weber State. Great, great, great. Awesome. Yeah, it's a great I know, place. I know great the school. area well. Just a beautiful campus. It's right there near Kaysville. Um, tell people about the situation that's unfolded, that water eroding under the streets where the Kaysville neighborhood um, had to be evacuated. People had to kind of get out, sandbag, and try to redirect the water. But some of them had to leave their homes. We did have a couple of uh, neighbors that had to leave their homes. What happened was that a storm drain was plugged upstream on a on a on a road that was above this the street that actually ended up flooding. The uh, water jumped the storm drain manhole, skipped through a cutout and a curb, and then redirected itself down downstream. This is a real tough situation. Kaysville's in the path of the runoff. That means you've got some creeks that are trying to capture the water. Um, right there along the Wasatch Range, though, you're going to have water screaming down the mountains. And after decades of drought, now you've got to deal with historic melt-off. It's really a total 180. You know, I've seen those images of the community there sandbagging, your residents sandbagging. Are you guys having to prepare for a worst-case scenario, or do you think this already was the worst of it? We believe this was the worst of it, especially in this area. Um, what we've been able to do is mitigate the situation by moving water off of the road into an adjacent neighbor property owner's uh, property. So we feel like the situation up here at least has been uh, solved and mitigated. And what we're doing is we're, we're offering sandbag filling, sandbag filling stations for neighbors to be able to come and fill sandbags. And we're making sure that people know to clean debris out of the road and out of the uh, storm drains. Water diversion, that is a great way to make sure that your property doesn't get impacted. You know, in a situation like this, it quickly can become a game of finger pointing. The water does have to go somewhere. Does it come down to the building of these homes in areas that may not have the adequate drainage? Or is this a scenario where it just was the worst case scenario unfolding beyond anyone's expectations? I, I think you nailed it. It's just the worst, the worst case scenario not something that we would have expected to have happen. And it was, it was several factors that, that contributed to this. Well, we appreciate you taking the time. I know the Salt Lake City Mayor, Aaron Mendehal, did also issue an emergency order here for the spring. It's going to be a long spring ahead. I know you and your family live right there in Kaysville, so you will be planning and making sure that the best uh, goes on. Any words of advice before we leave you for the folks there uh, in the Salt Lake Kaysville area? Um, we're just making sure that people stay safe, watch for storm drains and, and manholes that look like they're bumping up, and, and just be aware. Report what you see. Awareness is going to be a big part of it. Mayor Tam Tammy Tran from Kaysville, Utah. Thanks for being on Fox Weather. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.